and I am so excited you're here and joining me on my channel on this 2022, my very first video of this year. And I uh, wanna thank you. And if you happen to just hop on here for the very first time, um, I would love for you guys to join my community, hit that subscribe button so you can uh, check out more of my content. I have a lot of content uh, schedule coming up your way from cleaning, from uh, cooking, from uh, lifestyle, wellness, a lot of, I have a lot of goals that, to share and inspire you with, so stay tuned for more. On um, today's and video is going to be the beginning of the year, cleaning up, uh, kind of sorting things out. I still have my Christmas decorations out, so we're gonna be probably doing that um, either this video or another video, but I also want to say uh, this is in a special collaboration with Faith, my friend Faith that I have been following her. She's super inspiring. Hey I'm Faith and the name of my channel is Faith's Life. I want to thank Jessica for doing this collaboration with me. I'm so excited. I do a lot of homemaking on my channel, such as cooking, cleaning, DIYs, and much, much more. I also share Day in the Life, and I'm currently on Weight Watchers, so I share some of that on my channel as well, like recipes, uh, et cetera, updates. I am happily married and a mom to three wonderful girls. I hope you will pop over to my channel after watching and check me out. And if you like what you see, I would love it if you would subscribe. And thank you so much again, Jessica, for collaborating with me. So be sure to check out her video that I will be listed, listing that on the description bo box. <laughs> I can't talk today. On the description box for you guys to check it out after you're done with my video. Go ahead and say hi to her that I sent you and send her my love. Um, but without further ado, we're going to go ahead and tackle today. What we're today. looking at, it's under my bed. Um, this is uh, some piece from the kids' old uh, cribs, old beds. Um, I have all of like um, uh, wrapping and gifts, boxes and stuff like that to use. Here, uh, I want to sort that out. I don't think I have shared here on YouTube, but um, Santa brought the kids some bunk beds. Um, so they now have these bunk beds here. Their bedding and is from, so this one was from Coles. And this one down here, they're both dinosaur and they sort of glow, I guess. Um, one is more like grayish. Um, uh tones and the other ones are more blue but this one is from thinking about maybe painting the color of uh the furniture um our furniture is really good like there's nothing wrong with it but it's just not our scheme of style of to colors and stuff so we might <clears throat> do some tweaking on that we'll see but we're gonna focus on getting these out right now and truthfully find out what i am actually gonna be keeping from all these bags and all that stuff because truthfully it's it's really not it shouldn't be that i have these box and i have these other box so let's go ahead and put them right here so I have these, they like party supplies and I don't know, we're going to have to organize this, absolutely, because this is really not necessary to have this much. I ended up buying stuff all the time anyway, so if you guys have a very cool unique method of keeping your gift bags and all that stuff kind of stuff let me know in the comments below i would love to hear from you guys about this but this is what we're gonna focus on for now and see what else is under the bed and oh my god you guys i just want to share this is like the second of january and today 
no the first <laughs> never mind it's the very first day of january and it's so cold so cloudy outside <clears throat> it's um it's very rainy and uh so we're staying inside and being productive at the same time so let's if go ahead and tackle to this here from uh faith's channel welcome i'm jessica myros i hope you join my community hit that subscribe button sometimes like if I go to a party or if I go to my sisters or something and I'm gonna take you know uh, food items or things that I was gonna take with me there uh, I will take those bags and they come in handy but I don't think these are necessary to keep and keep a half space like Bath and Body Works like if it's not Bath and Body Works you can't really give a present on that bag, right? So, and if it is Bath and Body Works, you more than likely will have a bag from it when you purchase the item anyway. So, these are just boxes that are just no location. So, I'm going to leave those here. Um, these are like birthday. These are just plain white Christmas. And obviously all of these are Christmas. And I have already pre-looked at them. I don't think this has to be Christmas necessarily. I do already look at these ones and there's they're they're ones that I can actually reuse, like they're in good shape, they're not damaged or anything like that. Um this one I'm gonna take away or throw it, throw it out because it has the name tags on them this is right here you guys this is it this is probably all trash like seriously why oh i like this one this is pretty 
Um, yeah, these are all like Victoria's Secret. I even put them in a on its own bag thinking because it's like they're all the same. Yeah, I'm not using these trash. So I have bags over here, starting off with the ones that I might use the most. I had like baby shower all the way to the bottom because I don't anticipate anything soon anyway of that matter. But I have like baby shower and then Christmas and then birthdays and then kids bags uh, and then just like miscellaneous like no occasion um, man and woman type of bags. And then I'm going to have the tissues, the bows and on this side, um, on the other side. So. It sort of looks messy in a way, but it's somewhat organized. Um, and over here, this is what I'm gonna be getting rid of, all this stuff. And then we're gonna give a, another look under the bed and see what else we have. Um, I have like Christmas cards and like tags and all that stuff. I am going, I have them uh, in another area that I will put that in there and then I have these these are like party decorations party supplies they're not really like gift bag or wrapping um, supplies so they shouldn't be in here with this stuff I do have like another box um, where I keep all this stuff so I'm gonna move that in there and yeah Let's move on. So guys, well, while I finish the stuff under the bed, I want to ask you, do you guys keep anything under your bed? Is there room under your bed? And what are the things that you have hidden in there? And also, uh, the main other reason that I wanted to also clear the space is because we're going to have all our carpets cleaned up um, these coming weeks. So I want to make sure that you know, there's a lot less stuff to deal with, and we already kind of reorganize and have those clear spaces. Uh, we have one of these brand new rocks from IKEA. Do we need to replace one? Do we need to replace it? You think? Uh, is it like the one we're on? Yeah. It's a new year. New year, new us, baby. It's a different rug in there anyways. Is it? Yeah. We threw, we threw out the other one then. It was by the back door, I think. No. At some point. At some point. I changed them all around for us. What about this thing? What are we going to do with this thing? Or what thing? What is that? It's the thing that used to go on the back of the headrest and for the... Mm. Should we be using this on trips instead? Oh yeah, because they have their desk, so put it put that inside of their desk. Because when it comes to desk, then you know we're gonna need are? that. Huh? You know what desks are? Uh, in the guest room. I'm putting them in the drawer, empty drawers in the guest room. That's where they were. In the before in the building yeah yeah you know what i'm thinking of changing this rug to that rug to what rug this rug because the um to what rug the rubber rock the thing it, it can't so that rug? go that high to to the carpet and then this rug that is so bulky so if we change it to that it might come to our room to actually clean Mommy. yeah yeah, but I'm gonna need your help. Yes, baby. All right, so while we have these going on, cleaning over here, everybody is staying busy. My husband got inspired and one of his projects of this year is uh, wanting to reorganize our garage. That's the crib I was t talking about, you guys. And um, clear clearing up some cabinet that's what he's doing over here and the kids are working on their choo-choo train right here 
What are you guys doing? Fixing the engine? Yeah. It's ready full. Okay. Is it good now? Yeah. All right. So, a working? Thumbs up? Okay, good. Good. Thumbs up? <laughs> good job. All right, so, because I had two kids and things, you know, start popping at different times. As far as what I was gonna keep from when they were babies and stuff, I kind of like start like having collections of different areas. So I think I don't know if this will fit entirely all in here like that. Nope. Uh, I don't know if all, if it's all gonna fit in here. I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure this out and sort it in here. Water in your bed in the no, I, I, your room. No, I, I almost see, see my dog. Mommy, I All right, guys, so this is where we land it now. I am not putting any carpet right here or any rocks. Um, usually I do like to have something for the dog so it's not directly on the carpet. Uh, and my thinking is to use this rug I have over here, um, but I'm not gonna lay it out now just because like I said, we're gonna have our carpet clean so there's no point in doing that right now. And I would love to hear your opinion as far as the what color will be best or because I like uh, blues, grays, whites, like clean, modern colors. And that's where I'm going for. Um, so you let me know what color you think it will be best to um, uh, do the furniture. Uh, paint the furniture I am thinking maybe like a very light gray um, but like I said I would love to hear your opinion on that I clean the surfaces um, over here um, and kind of organize that now under the bed it's very clean now it's uh, just the wrapping and gift stuff and the crate with um, the piece of wood and that's pretty much all we have down there. Um, so that's what we do. You guys today. enjoyed today's video. Uh, give it that big thumbs up. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. Be sure to check out Fates on YouTube. It's Fates Lives. And I will leave her link of her video in the description box. I sent you and sent her and my I will love. see you guys on the next one.
Bye.